I didn't want to fight with this dude. I mean, first and foremost, he's my celly, bro. You know what I'm saying? He could wake up in the middle of the night and inject me with some corona or worse, just inject me with his own blood. Gee, I know the motherfucker got hep C, probably like three more diseases that's uncurable, G. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't want to fight with him, but I needed him to respect me, bro, and understand that I didn't play around like that. His bunkie before me, because he would always rub it in my face, was like nonchalant about anything bro i think you could probably like freaking do this dude a wet willy bro when he just like wake up and laugh like uh, from how he explained oh boy you feel me he could like go and, and, and use his whole case 24 soups g and then pay him back bro whenever he wanted and he could even pay him back in a shampoo instead of food you know what i'm saying and that's not really doable g when you trade food people usually want food you know what i'm saying like a little bit better when you're trading hygiene, people usually want hygiene. And the fact or the reason is a bottle of shampoo could cost $9. You know what I'm saying? And a soup costs 25 cents, G, in prison. So do the math. You're going to have like a Santa Claus bag of soups for a shampoo that look like this, G. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's mentally fucking, G. Like it, it could be, it could make sense, you know, if it was in dollars. But as far as trading this many amount of food g for that little thing g you know what i'm saying it, it fucks with you g so people usually stick to food on food hygiene on hygiene you know what i'm saying drugs on drugs whatever g nah drugs is always with money g ain't no drugs on drugs in there g because you know the tweakers don't fuck with the tecatos and the tecatos don't fuck with the buttheads you feel me g so anyways i didn't want to fight this dude bro but he just did too much bro he didn't get three strikes he only got two i gotta admit g but the first strike this fool did was he went ahead and just took some of my favoritest motherfucking friends in prison, G, and started doing the bolsita in the cell, G, you know what I'm saying? Like, these fools were solid as hell. Like, I'll always be chilling with them and shit, bro. Two little youngster fools, bro, for OC, bro. They was cool as shit. Well, they'll always come to me like, bro, what's up? What you doing, G? And then we'll chop it up real quick. We'll smoke some real quick and then... I'll give them a little bit of guidance, G, you know what I'm saying? Even though they didn't like it, G, but I think they did, G, but they just didn't want to show it because they were in prison and they were young and they were like really badasses, G, but give them a little bit of guidance, bro, about their high eyes, about when they get out, G, and then they be on their way, bro, because you know what I'm saying? I got other people to talk to, G, including my family on the phone, G. So these dudes ended up coming to the cell, G, and old boy ended up getting them snapped back, G, you know what I'm saying? Shot them up, fool, bro. This fool does got a guy, G, you know what I'm saying? Similar to my ape. Sally G, you know what I'm saying? So, for the rest of this freaking kids' terms, bro, they was always locked back, bro. Like, on some shit, bro. Because they was getting money. They was young. So, you know, it's your, we know when it's your first term, you got baby on your side. You got mama on your side. Abuelita on your side. You know, but as time goes, you know, Abuelita passes away. Mom's like, fuck that, bro. You wasting up all my money. Your girl, like, man, this is your 17th friend that tried to get at me, G. I think I'm going to just go in and talk to them, G, because all you doing is is doing exactly what they said you're going to do, and it's just hurt me, even though they're going to hurt me too, G, because he hurt his own girl, G, but whatever, G. And then everyone falls off the team, G. So, old boys was their first term, G. So, they was getting money, bro, from the everyone, G, you know what I'm saying? And they was cashing out old boy, bro, by getting the, the black, you know what I'm saying? So, I, I didn't like him because that, bro, and I was like, you know what, dog, like, I personally feel some type of way about individuals that um, are older and get little fools and, and, and shoot them up, G. Or older vatos that, you know, flex money on a little young hyena and, and, and turn them out, G. Like, I don't like that, bro. I feel like you, you you being a bully right now, G. And I've been bullied my whole life, G, because I've been the darkest everywhere, G. So I don't like it, G. And plus, like... It's just wrong, bro. Like, how you gonna take advantage of shit like that, bro? You might have a son or a daughter, G. You know what I'm saying? Karma's a motherfucker, and I do not wish that upon your kids, G. But I'm just saying, G. Stop doing that shit, G. But anyways, <clears throat> I was mad, bro. And it really got me that mad because I, I feel like he fucked up their whole life, G. They will fuck around with other shit still, you know what I'm saying? But still, bro, that's like a whole nother avenue you're into, bro. That's full of fucking syringes on the floor, G. And dirty freaking filled up plastic things that you wrap around your thing g and i'm not talking about condones g people be using bags anything g you know what i'm saying you be just freaking hey you think we're gonna be safe like this i don't know do you know i got that thing that kill you like on contact fuck it let me put two bags in like what the fuck g you know what i'm saying but anyways i was really mad about that bro and then 
The second thing that really pissed me off, bro, and I just had to take action, bro, is that this dude took my California, I mean my California, my CDC state prison ID, bro. This is the second time he did it. The first time he did it, he was cutting up pickles and balonies and everything, bro. I was like, bro, don't use my freaking ID to cut up pickles and shit. What the hell? Who does that? He was like, you. I was like, yeah, but it's mine, bro. What the fuck? Don't be doing that shit, bro. Give me my shit, bro. And he was like, hey, bro, why you got to snatch it like that? I was like, because, bro, you you, you fuck you in the wrong right now, bro. When I was looking at him, I'm like, what? You want, do you want to say something, bro? Like, you want to do something? I don't care, bro. Let's take the ass whooping then. You know what I'm saying? Because you get your ass whooped after you fight. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, I, I let that slide. You know, I was like, bro, don't do that, bro. Por favor, dog. Like, don't be doing that shit, my nigga. He was like, all right, bro. With the woo -woo, right? Some time goes by, bro. And this fool is drunk as shit. From what I heard, you know what I'm saying? Because I got a homeboy that was using my ID to do this heinous act. G, I was like, bro, what the fuck you using my ID? He was like, nah, bro, um, old boy fucking, you know, he was looking for his. He said he couldn't find it, bro. So he said, on trip, my son, he going to eat cool. He going to use his. So he brought it and I'm using it, G. And I was like, man, give me my ID, man. He was like, my bad, G. I was like, for sure, G, shit. Uh, before I left, G, I ain't even going to stunt with you, G. I turned back around. I said, hey, man. If I let you keep using my ID, you can shoot me a little bit ink, G. I got to finish this motherfucking tattoo right here, G. You know what I'm saying? He was like, yeah, for sure, Nico. You know, I got you, fool. Shit, you just got to shoot me about $5 instead of 15 I was like, shit, for sure, stay less. So I left the ID, bro, but I didn't let my mother sell you no, know, G. You know what I'm saying? I went back, and I was like, hey, bro, what the fuck was my ID, bro? He's like, oh, fool. All drunk and shit. He was, like, trying to explain that he let somebody borrow it to go fucking scrape freaking smoke. Because when you're making ink, G., what you do is you get a cardboard box. You get razors and you get an aluminum can, bro. Cut that aluminum can in the, in, in the middle. You put the razors in it and then you light them, G. So while they're burning, you know how plastic throws black smoke? You put the cardboard box around it, G. So it catches all the smoke, G, and it keeps burning. By the time they're done burning, the whole box is full of black smoke, G. So you freaking get the ID. Take that shit all off, which you could have done with a razor blade, G. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to use my ID, but you'd use your ID, take it off. It's easier, bigger, you know what I'm saying? And then you put it all into a little freaking visine looking thing, G. Put a little rock in there, a little bit of shampoo in there, and just shake that motherfucker up, G. You got ink, G. But you got to shake that shit up until you walking around here looking like freaking Popeye, G. You know what I'm saying? You got to really shake it, G, because I'm pretty sure when you're making somewhere else, it gets blended some other way. So we got to be the blending, you know what I'm saying? So anyways... I went back over there. I was like, man, what the fuck? Gee, what the woo woo woo? He tried to start explaining to me, bro. And I was like, bro, I checked out my mother sucking time. Gee, I was like, man, it's about 7.30. Everybody sleep. Probably ain't anybody going to hear this shit. And I just start fighting with him. Gee, I just punched him. Gee, but I didn't just punch him like a, like, you know what I mean? A sucker punch. Gee, I was like, nah, bro, that's it, bro. Backed up, pulled my pants up. I gave him all the signs that it was coming, gee. If I give you all the signs, bro, and you still get punched, bro, and you cannot call it a sucker punch, G, you know what I'm saying, G? I fucking backed up. I was like, nah, fool, that's too much. Did the pants thing. Y'all know the pants thing. I even did the leg thing, bro. Like, when you pull your leg, like, uh, hold up, G, just so I, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you don't, you know what I'm saying? I did all of that, bro. Like, what you want me to do? Put gloves on and shit and, 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 and you know? So, anyways, man, told him that, punched him, G. He didn't freaking punch me back, bro. He freaking was like, what the fuck, Shelly? What the woo woo? Start talking shit, bro. When I was fucking start talking to him, like, bro, what, now put your hands up, bro. What the woo? He's like, start talking to him. I looked away that he cheap shot at me, G. So, anyways, we got down for about, you know, about 10, 15 seconds, bro. And this was a little bit big. So he's bumping into everything, bro. But I kind of think he wanted somebody to come in there, too, bro. Because I would punch him in the chest and he's big. I know it didn't even hurt him. It was like, and he'll be like, oh, boom, boom. I was like, damn, you just making a scene, bro. But the fools came in there, bro. They checked us. It was crazy because we had like some type of intervention, G. You know what I'm saying? In prison, G, with nothing but gang members and criminals, G. And it was like, bro, y'all gotta chill, man. You know what I'm saying? Woo -woo 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 -woo. We shook hands, G. We went in there, woke up the next day and got our ass whooped, G. But he never touched my ID again, G. I remember one time we was chilling in there and um, the, the, the CO was like, hey, man. What, what's your last, what's your last two? I was like, what do you He was like, let me see your ID. I'm like, fuck. I looked down, the ID down there on the cabinet and shit, you know what I'm saying? We, we writing shit, G. I was on the desk. I was like, hey, Sully, 
get my ID, man, down there, like, I hand it to this motherfucking pig, dead motherfucker. He, like, look at me, like, double take, like, you sure? Yeah, I was like, man, give me the damn ID. I was like, man, I ain't touched this thing in so long. Gee, here you go. Gee, it was funny, man. But anyways, man, just respect others, bro, just like you would want them not to respect you, your mama, your daddy. Respect others that way because they mamas and daddies, bro. Sometimes we don't respect ourselves, and that's something we got to work on. But if you're going to survive while you working on it, you got to show respect out here, bro. It's 2022, man. People is dropping like flies. I am not playing with you, bro. I stay on the streets all day, 25-8, so I see everything. G is ugly. It's getting ugly, bro. We got to adapt and learn to understand others before trying to make them understand us. I've said this before. I'm saying it again. I wanted to stick. I want that seed to be embedded right there, G, and start growing, G. And then while it's growing, other people are reading what's on it, G. Like, damn, that motherfucking seed grew a motherfucking sign that says love yourself. You know what I'm saying? Y'all could be the motherfucking other people pushing out that positivity, bro. Black and brown, white, all races, man. We out here. Y'all know what it is.